this Wednesday morning, we are continuing to keep an eye on the tropics. We have tropical storm Brett out there in the Atlantic winds of 60 miles an hour, continuing to move towards the west this morning at about 60 miles an hour as it gets closer to the lesser Antilles. Now we do have an update to the forecast track this morning. In fact, a change that was made yesterday but still sticks this morning is that Brett is no longer forecasted to become a hurricane here in the next couple of hours as it makes its way towards the lesser Antilles. And then another change as we get into the weekend and specifically early Sunday morning as the storm tracks just to the south of Jamaica there actually going to weaken down to tropical depression status. So the latest spaghetti plots on this do show the storm continuing to move to the west through the Caribbean and no longer making that northward turn, which is welcome news to us here in central Georgia. It does look like a weak storm moving towards Honduras and Nicaragua as we work our way into early next week. But just when you think we're done with this, we're not. We've got another storm behind it. It is uh, abnormal for this time of year to see waves move across the Atlantic. Well, here comes another one, a 70% chance of development over the next two days and 80% chance of development over the next seven days. So a fairly high likelihood that this storm will become Cindy, which is the next name on the list. So Brett is going to cross the Lesser Antilles as a tropical storm and continue to weaken as it moves through the Caribbean. But we're going to be watching for this next storm to develop as it works its way across the Atlantic, where that makes its northward turn. If it makes a northward turn is something we're going to be watching closely here in the Weather Center in the days to come. Again, the next name on the list is going to be Cindy.